Hey, my name is Tom Spall. I'm a fourth grade teacher over at Alton Elementary School. And today I'm going to teach you how to use Today's Meet as a communication tool to use in classroom discussions um, along with your students. I meet, you meet, let's Today's Meet. So what is Today's Meet? Well, Today's Meet is an amazing collaboration tool that allows teachers, parents, students, peers, and administrators to communicate openly and freely in one central location. Let's get started with a quick tutorial. To begin, you'll have to go to todaysmeet.com, which you can type in the URL bar at the top of your screen. Uh, from there, you can start creating your room. And let me talk to you about how to first set up your room. If you already have a link and you don't want to set up a room, you would just like to join a room, just click on the link that has been supplied to you. Now that you're at todaysmeet.com, you can start setting up your room. This room will be private just to you or whomever you shared the link with. Make a creative name for your room. Name of your class, your last name, school's name, the period that you're in, unit that's being studied, etc. For instance, if I was making a Today's Meet back channel for a school staff meeting, I might name the room Alton. Hence, the new address will be todaysmeet.com backspace Alton. This next part is very important to the security of your room. Set up a time limit for the room and all its contents will be deleted after a certain moment. This room could be open for 2, 8 to 12 hours or one day, week, month, or year. For my class discussions or presentations, I usually only keep it open for about two hours. This avoids anyone from getting back into the room after class has ended. Good, now that you have made a room and you've named it and uh, you set the time limit, click on create your room. Now you need to create your name. I suggest that you use your real name depending on the type of situation, the type of chat, and the other audience that you will be working with. If this was for my staff meeting, I would have it be Tom or just Tom Spall. If this was in my class, I would have it be Mr. Spall. This is very important when creating a room to utilize in class discussions. In my classroom, every kid needs to sign on with their real first name. This enforces the notion that I will know what they write. After they have created the name, I go around and check each computer to make sure that they use their first name. One time, for privacy reasons, I had them use the lunch ID numbers. Now they can join the room. You are now ready to create your first message. Type your message and then click the button that says Say. This message will now go over to the left side into the listen. The newest post will always be at the top. The first post that you wrote during the chat will be at the far bottom. If you need to go back and see what you wrote, just scroll down and you can see all the past messages. It's also important to note that you only have 140 characters to write your message. After you push say, you can write another message. At the bottom of the screen, there is a button called transcript. This lets you print off a recorded copy of the whole entire conversation of chat. I like to use this with my students to go back and review what we talked about and to make sure that nobody wrote anything inappropriate. And to the left there is a button for the URL shortener. You may send this as a link to someone to get to this website. Thank you and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial on how to use today's meet in your classroom and staff presentations. Hopefully it was uh, useful to you and enjoy it. Thank you.